Now in northern Kenya, the ribs of a dead sheep stretch towards the blazing sun as perch herders trudge past a day's march from water. The value of their skinny goats is falling as fast as the prices scrolled on the sacks in the market are shooting up. For some in northern Kenya, their wealth is held in livestock. But under a blazing sun, the work of a lifetime is evaporating. Consecutive droughts are pushing millions of people towards hunger. In the arid terrain of Marsabit County, Herder Begeri is pointing out the animals he's lost. This is my donkey and it died because of the drought. There is no pasture or water. My donkey has died, sheep and goats have died too. Only God will help me. If you walk all over this area, you will see my dead animals. And the situation is getting worse, with climate change expected to increase the frequency and severity of droughts in the region. This is the second season in a row that rains have failed here. What that means, according to the United Nations World Food Programme, is 2.4 million people struggling to find enough to eat by November. Food prices are also climbing, in turn reducing the value of the pastoralists' skinny goats. Heard of Moses Loloju volunteers distributing food donations. He says it no longer rains normally, and when it does rain, it's not enough. We came to receive the aid as we have nothing otherwise. Goats are unsellable, cows are even worse to sell, and our children are starving. The UN says over 465,000 children under five and over 93,000 pregnant and breastfeeding women are malnourished in Kenya's north. Plan International's Regional Head for Disaster Risk Management, Maurice Onyango, says previous droughts were predictable. We had longer cycles of uh, five to ten years, and this meant that, uh, that uh, the, the pasture and water bodies um, would regenerate uh, very quickly. This is no longer the case. Um, we are seeing um, uh, droughts occurring every two years, sometimes every year. Temperatures in northern Kenya have climbed by approximately a third of a degree Celsius every decade since 1985, according to US government data. They are expected to rise further, Washington says, as well as the length of heat waves making it even harder to grow crops or keep livestock as water disappears. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.